Hi, how are you? In this video, I'm going to show you a, one of my most favorite Town Hall 11 bases ever. And we're getting started right now. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another base building video. Today, we're having a very special video. Today, we're looking at one of my most favorite war bases ever. Now, as far as the Town Hall goes, really, Town Hall 11 is one of my most favorite Town Halls. Captain Nemo, my one of my the, my first account, I would say, is actually sitting at Town Hall 11. I've built all kinds of different, built all kinds of different trophy bases. I've built war bases, and this one right here is basically one of my most favorite bases. I've used it for such a long time. I've used it in different configurations for war, for trophies. I've used it in league wars. I've used it for so long. I love this base. I love the trap configurations, and I've tested it for a very long time. I've actually featured this base in collaboration with Echo as well, where I showed it on his channel this base right here is very awesome and today we're gonna look take a look at three hits three fresh hits from a war that just finished today that, that is gonna show you why this base is awesome it's undefeated in this war that's right it stood the test of time so to speak it has not been three starred and today we're gonna take a look at some of the most awesomeness there was some really good good attacks actually we were facing a pretty good clan and they had really interesting attacks and today we're gonna take a look at that we're gonna take a look at why this base stands the test of time so let's get started now as always the base link is going to be in the description of this video so you can go ahead and copy it you can use this base right here with the exact trap configurations that i have the trap placements in this base are actually pretty good I've tested like I said and used this base for a long time so they're almost I mean I would say pretty much perfect really they're, they're really good but if you want to use your own trap placements which is what you should be doing right if you're gonna be using a internet base so to speak this base right here like I said it's been on YouTube for a while uh, I've posted it echo had it on on his channel so this base this probably has been seen and in fact <laughs> I'm sure there are people that are running this base right now so you might want to use your own trap configurations now I do have a perfect video for you for that I will link that in the video card above at the end of this video so you can check that out this how to place your own traps in clash of clans I talk about exactly every trap how you should place it and basically what it does is it gives you the ability to take any of my bases that you can by the way check in the base library playlist that I will also link in the uh, video card up above at the end of this video but if you take any of my bases and you can use this video and basically template and do your own traps on any of the bases that I built in any of the videos that you see on YouTube therefore being kind of having your own custom sort of flavor to any base and, and not you know giving everybody a hard time when they're hitting it you do not want to run the exact same base because somebody can go on YouTube and of course, look at the base, look at the traps, know exactly where everything is, and it makes it a lot easier for someone to three-star. But either way, let's take a look at three different replays of people trying to three-star this base and not being able to. All right, so here we go. What are we doing? Somebody's bringing in the miners. That's right, Queenwalk Miners, which is, a, which is a really good attack, actually, right? So let's see what, what happens over here. Let's see what they do. Say. They throw an electro drag over here at three o'clock to start the funnel, which is a pretty good way to actually funnel really any kind of troops nowadays. Look how much value is getting right out of the electro drag, kind of hitting my wizard tower right here and a bunch of other stuff. Really nice. So now he's creating this to start the queen walk right over here, right? Or actually, I would say it's a queen charge. Let's zoom in a little bit so uh, we can check that out. Yes. So he's charging his queen into the base, right? You see the jump right over here. What is he doing? He's making sure that he takes care of the clan castle. He's got to get that cleaned up, right? And then he's gonna just jump in and make sure he gets his uh, his miners into the base. Now he's gonna have a bunch of issues when he gets into here with the queen charge, where he gets a pretty decent value out of it. Now, as far as this base goes, like I said, it's been hit in many different ways. I know that one of the best clan, you know, clan castles that you could use in 
In Cl Clash of Clans right now, in the current meta, would probably be either a Hound, because it stops the Queen or slows her down, or two Ice Golems. And as you notice, really do a lot of damage. Why? Because they slow down the Queen and stop her and really run the clock down and allow the defenses, other defenses, to take her down. That's what happens right here. The Ice Golems really, really <laughs> took the Queen down. They just, they, they did. So now he starts his miners right over here from uh, from the south, uh, from the north, right from 12 o'clock. Along with the wall wrecker, he gets into the base. He does take down the um, my eagle artillery, so it's a lot easier for him to try to get in here with the miners and try to get through the base. He's got a baby drag, um, if you notice, right over here by six o'clock. That is on my town hall to try to get the two star. Um, which is okay, right? This is an anti three star uh, design, so I did put my town hall there for a reason. It's not just because I wanted to be far away from everything. Like I said, I've built a lot of different bases. You can check them out below. I know what I'm talking about. The reason this town hall is sitting specifically here at six o'clock is for the wall record placement. Notice the reason I have it here, and you'll see it in other attacks, is to make sure that the wall record screws up the entire attack. His his whole army split on him has split because of the way the wall record is placed and because of where the eagle artillery is because of the way i play the way i place my eagle artillery versus my town hall versus the key defenses that he needs to take out in the base and the infernos all of that screws the base up spl splits everything up and kind of makes sure it basically foils attacks and that's exactly what's happening right here he doesn't have enough enough juice to kind of come around the base right so he comes through it he comes to the side of it the attack splits up and that's really what happens with this base the reason the town hall is at six o'clock is because that's what happens so everything in here is is been tested it's been it's really it's a really good base i'm gonna keep saying that and you're gonna keep hearing me say oh my god it's a really good base but it really is it's my favorite town hall 11 war base all right, so next up, we're going to take a look at another one um, hitting my base right here. This is a different type of attack. This is, again, Baby Drag right here from um, from the 6 to get rid of the Town Hall. And then you're going to do the Pekka with the Witches thing. Now, this is a pretty strong attack nowadays, right? It's a, kind of like a combination of a Pekka, not a Pekka Smash, sort of like a Pekka Smash with the Witches. It's a pretty good attack. Uh, look, he's got the, the Skeleton King's skin right here. That's pretty sweet. I didn't get mine yet. Did you get yours yet? It's a pretty, pretty sweet skin. Uh, actually, it's one of the skins that I definitely, I think everybody's gonna get. It's so, it's so sweet. I love it. So it's a pretty interesting attack over here, right? He sends everything down the center, right? He's, what is he doing? He's trying to make sure that he gets into the core, but that does not happen because some of his troops split. And again, that's why the base is designed that way. They split this Inferno right here is wrecking havoc and melting some of the, his troops. And so is the other one, right? If you come into the base most of the time, right? You have to decide whether you want to come in against one Inferno or against an Eagle Artillery. In this case, if you come into the, from the 12 o'clock directions from where he came in, it is designed because he's going to want to take out the eagle artillery right most of the people they're going to come into your base they're going to look and say okay i need to take out the queen the clan castle and the eagle artillery if they come in from 12 o'clock it splits the troops up and it makes them go against two infernos two multi infernos at once this inferno right here and then this inferno right here so when they come into the center of the base they're getting hit with both of them so the troops are being melted everything goes down the center and it gets split up because of the walls and the way the configuration of this base is coming in from this direction is quite difficult it and like i said splits up the troops and that's what happened as you noticed in the last attack in this attack in many different attacks people either come in from this 12 o'clock direction or they come in from here because that's kind of like the opposite they try to get in to try to get value with a wall wrecker really you don't get a lot of value with the wall wrecker that way i also place the troops and the, the i'm sorry the troops and the traps the same way right i know that most of the people are going to hit you from this direction so the traps are placed in my configuration to take care of that so again when you're doing your traps take a look make sure that you notice but just for you for your own you know sort of testing most people will come in from that direction so make sure that you trap the base that way and we're going to the third attack, right? The third and final attack. Of course, there's so many though. I mean, I can really, I run this base a lot in different wars. 
I can really go for hours showing you different attacks that failed. I mean, there has been a few three stars of this base. Of course, every base can be three star, right? Remember this. Every base can be three star. No matter what, if you have the right attacker along with the right troops, any base will be taken down. That's just the name of the game. That's how it works. That's what base building is all about. You, you're definitely going to be taken down once or twice. The idea here is to make sure that the law, like sort of the law of averages works in your favor. You want to defend the most of the time, right? That's the idea. And of course, there's some times that you want. Again, what's, what's happening over here? Someone decides to come in from the west in this direction. His E dragon split and go around. The Eagle artillery is still up. I mean, yeah, he's trying to get the town hall over on this side. He's still got the heroes. I think he's still got the, the king and the queen still holding on to them. I think he's probably going to want to send them in this direction to get the Eagle artillery. But right now, the EA is punishing the rest of his E dragons. That's not what you want to do when you're attacking a base. But again, why? Because they split this is a really good base it's a really i keep saying that you guys keep hearing me it's a really good base it's a really good base it is it's a very good base you should run it and check it out run in your own wars okay in your own regular attacks and wars and whatever and then see how everybody does against it on most of the time people are going to fail this base is going to hold most of the time when a town hall 11 hits it i've seen many different town hall 12 dips fail against this base as well like I said, it's a very tricky base, so I think that you should definitely run it in your war. Yep, there's, there come the little heroes right on the side. That probably should have been done at the beginning of the attack, in my opinion, to get a little bit more value out of the funnel for him. But either way, most of the key defenses are still up, and yeah, this attack is going to fail, like most of them do. So, if you enjoyed, or if you like this base, or if you've seen somebody else run it in, in you know, in other wars, because I'm sure there are other people that run this base, right? Echo showed it on his channel, so that's the case. I mean, there's probably like a billion people that have seen it. But have you seen people run this base? What do you think about it? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear your comments comments your thoughts is there something that you would change in this base i would love to know let me know so we just watched three different ways that this base was hit three different attacks and three different defenses on, on one of my favorite town hall 11 bases now as i said before in the videos every base can be three star right so i'm sure that someone somewhere can three star this base with a specific strategy in a specific way and all of that but this base is a very very strong war base that you should be using in your next war it defended for me so well and still to this day as you notice it still does it defends for me this war happened literally today it just ended and, it, and I run this base regularly in my other wars and scrappy wizards and a bunch of wars that I use in all kinds of different clans this is my favorite town hall 11 anti three star war base I hope it does really well for you I hope that it defends and holds against all kinds of three stars and you win a bunch of wars with it let me know down below if you like this base and what you think about it I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to smash that like button let me know that you want more of these it really Really helps and thank you very much for that and if you haven't subscribed yet i really sincerely hope that you do because i have so much more stuff coming for you we've got more base building videos we have more attack strategy videos we have a pushing videos farming videos i have flash series videos coming out we have a couple of collabs coming out very soon that are going to be really cool we have a lot of stuff i'm really excited for it i hope you do as well stay tuned thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out the, this video right here because it's really really awesome i think it's going to do really well for you and i will see you there.